We all experience shitty days. You know what I'm talking about, right? The days that we just don't feel like doing anything. You're too tired. You're too sore. You don't feel like up to, to taking on the challenge. I say fuck those days because those are the days that will literally take you 10 steps back. Those are the days that actually are going to count when you can lean in and say, screw it, I'm going to do it anyways. When you can master those feelings, those are the days that even that are even more important when it comes to reaching your goals. If you've got something to do, don't put it off until tomorrow. Don't do that. Don't literally volunteer to do anything that needs to get done today, tomorrow, because guess what? Tomorrow sometimes never comes. I hear it all the time. I'll work out later because something came up in my schedule. I'm like, bullshit. More than likely, you won't work out later, right? More than likely, you won't stop to eat your lunch. Because let's face it, life is busy. So I'm going to encourage you not to put shit off for tomorrow or the next day or the perfect Monday or the next year. If you've got goals and dreams, I want to encourage you to start doing them now. Every single day when you wake up, you have two options. You can either look at the clock, hit the snooze and go back to bed and dream about all of your goals. Or you can hit the snooze button off. You can literally wake up, seize the day, and go out and pursue your dreams. The problem with people is that everyone wants support when it comes to reaching their goals and their dreams. But the truth is, you guys, is that the dream is yours. You have to go out and do the shit to conquer and crush and achieve those dreams. It's your dream. You have to want it. You have to get up out of bed and make shit happen. You can't just sit around and hope and pray for all of your dreams to, to work themselves out. You can't just hope to God that you're going you're gonna to wake up and all of a sudden everything's going to be handed to you. You have to go out and get it. You have to be hungry. You have to put some skin in the game. I want you to start embracing what it is to be a champion. A champion, yes, it's going to cost you something, right? It's going to cost you some time. It's going to cost you some energy. It's going to cost you some sacrifice. It's going to cost you hours in front of the TV. When you feel like relaxing, you're going to have to go in and hustle hard. Being a champion is not cheap. Being a champion always costs more. It's always going to take more from you, which is why there aren't thousands and millions of champions out there running around. I want you to develop an attitude of championship. A champion looks at life and takes it on. A champion does whatever it takes to get shit done. A champion puts in the hours and the reps. A champion puts in the time and the money to invest in herself. A champion pushes through the pain when, oh, it would be so easy to give up. A champion doesn't make excuses and definitely doesn't blame others for the life that she has. A champion looks for solutions and resources instead of blame, excuses, and bullshit. The decision that you make every single day will either move you closer to your dreams or it will take you 10 steps further. A single decision can change your life forever. So if you want to be broke for the rest of your life, then guess what? Keep doing the shit you're doing. If you want to be overweight for the rest of life, great. Keep doing what you're doing. If you want to keep waking up wishing you had something better, then awesome. Keep fucking doing what you're doing because it's working. But if you want something different, then you've got to go out and be doing something different. If you want a better life, then guess what? You've got to change the, the, the environment. You've got to change the people in your life. You've got to upgrade. You've got to boss up. You've got to create mental toughness. Mental toughness is not all about, you know, like how much tears you can like fight back and push down. Mental toughness is built by doing all the shit that you don't want to do. It's finding the enjoy in the suck. Mental toughness is finding the pleasure in the pain. Mental toughness is leaning in when you're having a bad day. Mental toughness is saying, F you excuses, I've got this and I'm going to keep pushing harder. Mental toughness, yes, is built in the gym, but it's also built in the everyday life that you experience. 
The reason why you are where you are is because you are giving yourself permission to quit. You are giving yourself the option to say, you know what? I don't feel like doing this today. Being a champion isn't an option for me. I wake up every day saying, you know what? You are a fucking champion. You're going to go out and get that shit today. You're giving up on yourself is an option. I'm going to repeat that back. You giving up on yourself is an option. It's a choice. It's a decision. You are letting the excuses and the beliefs to get in your way of stepping up and bossing up and becoming the greatest version of you ever. Ladies, you don't belong at the bottom. It's time to get your ass up and start climbing to the top. How many more nights of sleep are you going to wake up or are you going to lose because you complain about your life? Newsflash, stop being so lazy. Stop making excuses for the things that you don't have. Stop sitting around and letting the itty bitty shitty committee inside your head to run the show. You are the reason why you're not winning. You are the reason why you look the way you look if you're not satisfied with it. You are the reason if you're unemployed and you can't find a job. You are the reason why your surroundings are so dysfunctional and negative. It's a choice. You have thought your way into depression. You've thought your way into negativity. You've allowed other people to get the best version of you. You decided every day to put shit into your mouth. You decided every day to push the workout off because you thought something was more important. You decided every day to let fear and worry and overwhelm control your life. So stop complaining about being out of shape when you never go to the gym. Stop looking at your stomach when you get out of the shower and complain about the way you look because you have you lack the discipline in saying yes to certain foods. You have the power. Stop waking up with a negative spirit. You have the choice. You're either going to break through your bullshit or you're going to still continue to carry it around. But that choice is yours and yours alone. So quit seeking coaches and mentors thinking that we are going to like give you the most miraculous transformations. I can guide you to the river. I cannot make you drink. I cannot. You have to be willing to push past the, that, that discomfort. If you want to improve your life, don't just hire a coach. Hire the right fucking coach. Hire the coach that's actually going to help you improve your mindset because it's all, all of the goals and dreams that you want to achieve, it all starts with the mindset. So change your mind and you will change your life. You are one decision away from changing your life. The difference between you and I is the fact that one day I decided to make a powerful decision. I decided to, I was going to live my best life. I decided that I was no longer going to live with depression and negativity. I decided that I wanted more for myself. I decided that I was no longer going to be obese. I decided that I was no longer going to be unhappy in my marriage. I fucking made a decision and I owned it. Everything that I do, every decision that I make, I own it. Even if it's a bad decision. I say, you know what? Okay, I shouldn't have did that. But damn it, you're going to own it. There's no going back and taking it back. There's no point in going down a guilt trip. There's no thinking, how can I get out of this? Because I'm a champion. My championship was built through the toughness, through the pain, the struggle, and the challenges. So if you're facing something today, if you're facing that oh shit moment in your life, I want you to choose yourself. I want you to choose to rise up. Stop being the woman who starts today and quits tomorrow. The decision that you make every single day will either move you closer to your dreams or take you 10 steps further away. So if you're ready to become a champion, if you're ready to wake up tomorrow and literally change your life forever, I would encourage you to boss up and become a champion and take my free quiz below. You're going to discover what kind of boss up babe you are. Plus, you're going to receive five tips to help you on your health and weight loss journey. If you ever have any questions, feel free to reach out.
I know I am real and I am raw and I am a no bullshit kind of coach because let's face it, everybody in your life is fluffing it for you. It's saying you're going to be okay. It's okay. You didn't go to the gym. It's okay that you ate that shitty meal. It's okay that, you know, you let your, your, your fear run your life. I'm here for you, but really what are they doing for you? They're enabling you to continue to live with the shitty excuses and the shitty mindset, the shitty beliefs. So yes, I know I'm not everyone's cup of tequila, but damn it, I help women change their lives. I help them boss up to the next level of greatness because my realness, my rawness, and my no bullshit approach to living has gotten me and hundreds of women to the next level of success. So if you're looking to boss up your body, your mindset, your business, your fucking bank account, consider booking a 15 minute call with me. I promise you won't regret it. I love you. I hope you have a beautiful day and please share this video with someone you know needs to hear it right now.